Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Blue Archive. Man, it's been like three or four weeks since I last did a part. <laughs> I said it wasn't gonna be as long as the last I think I, I think I said at the beginning of the last part that the next video wouldn't be as long as uh the wait wouldn't have been as wouldn't have, wouldn't have been as long as the previous. But uh yeah, it's been like three or four weeks since I've actually got around to doing a video. I just haven't had time to do it. With uh other playthroughs and other things life get in the way and all that kind of stuff you know how it goes uh in the last part we had uh stages one through episodes one through ten of the gaming gaming development crew so uh we gotta help them out still we got another, we got another 10 stages to go through and yes we have a, yeah, another event going on the beach the, uh, the second summer beach events I will get to these. I will get to doing these story, these event stories at some point. Well, I say that, but I mean like record, actually recording them. I'll get, I will get to them at some point. I have been doing them, but I just haven't gotten a chance to actually record them. La, la, la. All right, all right. We're off to chap episode eleven. Did we make it? Entry successful. Objective complete. Wow, we're actually like crazy strong. If we tried, we could even probably take on C, take on C and C or some of those A squads in the other academies. You're nuts. We never beat C and C, but you're right. We're actually pretty good. Maybe it's because Sensei was leading us. I get what you mean. Having Sensei around definitely makes a difference. Oh, how is our ammo supply doing? My battery is blinking. Is my MP low? I'm running well myself. I can probably hold, only handle on one more short fire fight. Hmm, maybe we should avoid another another encounter. This place is... Oh. What's up, Boris? I'm not sure. Something feels familiar. We got We have to go this way. Huh? Oops. There is no data of this place in my memory, but my body knows it. It's like playing a game you last played many years ago. Is it? My body doesn't work that way. Without a tutorial or explanation, you still have a sense of where to go. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can, I can, I can get where she's coming from. I can play an age-old game from the PS1 era and still know where everything is without an explanation or uh, tutorial. Okay, never mind. I totally get how she's feeling. Mm, I know what you mean. You know, I guess this place is kind of similar to where we found ours in the first place. Like that computer over there, you mean? Huh? I think that computer is already on. Uh oh. Welcome to the... Division uh, system. Please enter the item you need help with. Wow, this looks easier than I thought. Should I type in the G Bible? Uh, isn't this kind of suspicious? What's the division system anyway? Could that refer to this munitions factory? Oh, she swooped in to start start typing. Keyboard obtained. Searching for G Bible. Oh, something popped up. It's a bunch of letters and asterisks. Is it broken? Aris, what'd you do? I did not press enter, though. Identity check. Are you Al AL1S? Huh? Whoa. Hmm? No, I am me. I am Aris. Wait. Something's weird about this. I don't think it should hit enter, Aris. Voice recognition confirmed. Access granted. Welcome back, AL1S. Huh? Why even a key? Why even a cat? Why even have a keyboard? Why does it think I Aris's name is AL1S? Um, sorry, Yuzu. I should have told you earlier. My name is actually Computer. Do you know about AL1S? 
It's really taking its time. Screen's getting all blurry. What's wrong with it? Yeah, okay. Screen's freaking out. Huh? What was it saying? That's... An emergency situation has occurred. Power down imminent. All data will be lost and powered and power down. 51 seconds remain. What? No, don't die. We have to find the G Bible. Seeking query G Bible. Found. Commence load. Yes or no? Really? Yes. G Bible verified complete. Game code identified. For human comprehension and reference, data at registry 193 will be discarded. 35 seconds remain. Don't go throwing parts away. It's a treasure among game developers. In the entire world. Suggestion, if you wish to acquire the G Bible, connect the storage device to receive transfer data. What? You know where the G Bible is? Stick a USB in. Yes, so do you. You've already found it. Oh. What? To be precise, I contain I contain the G Bible. However, my current form will not long, will not last much longer. Please remove me my, into my new storage device. Hmm, what do we have that could work? Oh, can we use this Game Girl SP a memory card? <laughs> Side on MP3. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. He re whatever this thing he doesn't want to go into. <laughs> want to go into that? Why does this seem so happy all of a sudden? Let me plug the link cable in, and there. I like how it looks very close to being a switch. Initiating transfer. Insufficient storage data detected. Deleting existing data. Nine seconds remain. You what? My game girl files are all disappearing. What do you think you're doing? As I said, insufficient storage data space. Find some more room somewhere else. Please. Anything but my safe files. I worked so hard to get that equipment. This is why you back things up. Sorry. File deletion complete. No, no. Eh, unfortunate. Huh? Didn't run out of power? My saves! <laughs> Wait! There's something on the screen. Transfer complete. What now? New data confirmed. Gbible.exe. It's really here. If we have it, we might as well make sure it's the real deal. Ex exe go! Oh, there's a pop-up. I want the password! Are you kidding me? If the password isn't too complicated, then there it is configured out. And if we do that, we can actually make Tail Saga Chronicle 2 fun. We can do it. Yes! Watch out, Millennium Prize! No, all the Kavodos Game Awards. Our new game will shake the Kavodos gaming industry to its core. Shh, if you keep yelling like that. Eh, well, good luck. Good work. The evil robots know where we are. Of course they heard you. Whoops. Huh. Why does this seem so mad? I mean... They're, they're guard robots. Mamoy! The console! Take it! Use you protect Sensei. And I also hold back the robots while you escape. Let's do this. I'm not gonna lose now that we finally have the G-Bible. Game Development Department, here we go! Right. Oh boy. Oh, 
All right. In the search of the mirror. In search of the mirror. Excuse me. I was, I've reached my conclusion about the ditty delivered. It's finally time. My heart is beating really fast. As you know, Veritas prides itself on being the best hacker group in all of Kvotos. For Anna, cases Red Garden system and data recovery on a daily basis. Of course, we've solved problems like yours countless times. Mm, going, I'm going to be frank with you. Mamoy, your save files, your save files cannot be recovered. <gasps> no! I feel, I feel you. You should back things up though. Always have backups, my friends. Always back up your saves. Mamoy, you're supposed to ask him to figure out the passport to get the, the, the G Bible. Oh, that's what Maki's working on. Maki is. Good morning, Mido. I was just about to head over to see you guys, but here you are. Oh my saves! <laughs> What's her deal? Don't worry about her. Please tell us about the G Bible. I finished my analysis. All signs point to this being the real G Bible, the manual written by the legendary game developer himself. Yes! The final creation time last last set time, file format, and the author all match the IP of the legendary game developer you mentioned, and above all, the data has been copied exactly once. That means Yep. This is the real deal. Amazing! That said, we haven't been able to decrypt the password yet. Huh? You're killing me, Maki! Sheesh, I may be a hacker, but this is some hot white hat level stuff we're dealing with. But it's not like we're out of options. Oh. Well, it's basically impossible to brute force the password. We may be able to do it without the security file. And to do that, we're going to need a tool known as the Optimus Mirror System. Or the mirror for short. This is all going way over my head. Do I have this right? You need this mirror thing to open the G Bible. Where is it now? Well, uh, we used to have it here at Veritas. Great, let's crack the sucker. Oh, wait, used to? I mean, it's not here anymore? <laughs> well, the freaking student council came in and took it away. That Yuka stormed in here a few days ago saying all sorts of stuff like it's disgraceful that we had illegal equipment. Sheesh, what a killjoy. Besides the mirror, she also took my wiretaps. I mean, that's understandable. Is this mirror thing really as dangerous as a wiretap? Not at all. It's just a simple tool optimized for cracking encrypted systems. Okay, yeah, that's very dangerous. <laughs> and it's the only hacking tool in the world created by our club president. You mean Himari? Who is Himari? She's the president of, Ver of Veritas. Even though she's a wheelchair bound because of her health, Himari is not one to be underestimated or, or pitied. She's a genius known for being one of the uh, only three students in Millennium's history to receive the Om Omni Science Award. Yeah, yeah, that's impressive and all, but I want to know is how you managed to lose the genius, the genius, geni the this genius's equipment. I just wanted to see what the sensei was texting. Seriously? You could have just asked me to my cell phone. Purely out of scientific curiosity, of course. Yeah, sure. Scientific curiosity in my ass. Right. Yeah, if I don't get that mirror back soon, the president's gonna yell at me. He, she just wants to get at, at Aru. Or not Aru, uh, Aruna. I mean, you can't have her. Anyway, as you can see, our interests have aligned. We need our president's tool back, and you want you to unlock the G Bible. Uh, I was wondering why you wanted an in-person meeting. I think I know where this is going. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> You're pretty sharp, Momo. It's like they say, birds of a feather flock together. 
Before we enter the dungeon, we become a raid party. Are you guys seriously suggesting? Uh-oh. Are we attack the student council with Veritas? Uh-oh. Yes, you heard me correctly. You say that, but I'm still having a hard time believing it. I know a Millennium is game development department. They seem like such cute, innocent girls. You really think they intend on attacking the student council? They're naive. That's why they do the do ridiculous things sometimes. But it's not so simple this time. Veritas is also involved. Veritas? Those hackers? Indeed, both groups are willing to put all out pull out all stops where the things they hold dear are on the line are on the line. I see. Well, it's our job to respond to requests. However, there is one little problem. What kind of problem? It's the folks guarding the student council's contraband storage where the mirror, mirror is. It's the maid club. The maid club? I see. They also go by C and C, right? They're a strike team from our stu our school where maid uniform ma ma maid outfits and clean up their targets. Exacto Mundo! And don't don't worry, it's just a minor snag. Right. It's minor. Super minor. Yeah! <laughs> It's impossible! We have no choice but to throw in the towel. Whoa, what in the heck are you giving up for, Momo? Don't you need the G Bible? Sure we need it, but are you seriously right now? The May Club? You've gotta be kidding me! We'd be better off, better off standing in front of a moving train or throwing ourselves into a volcano than trying to fight them. But if we don't do something, the president's gonna yell at me. I mean, the game development department is gonna shut down. Of course I don't want us to get shut down. But come on, this is just crazy talk. CNC have gotten rid of countless extremist groups and armed factions. And you know what else? When they clean them up, they don't leave a single trace of their existence behind. Exactly! The club is important, but I can't put Midori and RS in that kind of risk. It's too, it's too dangerous. Danger? You got it all wrong. We're not Jihanna's prefect team or Trinity's justice task force or something. Why would the maid club have to, have to make us disappear? You see, our goal isn't to get rid of the maid club. All we gotta do is get what we need out of the storage room they're guarding. That's basically the same thing. Actually, she has a point. From what I've heard, the maid club's not a full force right now. Don't tell me. I see. While the maid club was wildly considered the strongest squad in Millennium, it wasn't just their skill as agents that earned them that reputation. It was because of her. President of the May Club, call sign double O narrow. Correct. But as it as, as so happens, right now she's. N Narrow's in here? That's right. I believe she's out on personal business in the outskirts of Millennium. But you needn't worry. Our president is, well, let's just say she's as much more fit for destroying rather than protecting. CNC is a strong fighting for, fighting force when we're when we're with our president, but if the job is to protect something, we may be better off without her. As such, we'll accept your request. Until the deadline given to the game development department, all access to the student council's contraband storage is off limits. We'll see about that. Fuck the rules. So we avoid direct combat, grab the mirror, and run for our lives. Let's do it, my boy. You too, Midori? Even without Nero, the Mega Club is still uber scary. I know, but I'm not just gonna give up. Our club room's old and leaky, but it's not just where we get to go get to play games anymore. It's where we all belong. If we can avoid fighting the May Club, I think we might have a chance. Now, if we have to fight them. I want to keep it safe. For Aris and Yuzu and all of us together. Midori. I believe in us. When the world is on the brink of destruction, the legendary hero must rise to save it by defeating the wicked demon lord. After playing approximately 45 RPGs, I have determined that there is a powerful weapon all these legendary heroes have in common. What do you mean? Like leveling up or upgrading equipment? Or perhaps a wiretap? Or an EMP? <laughs> uh, no. They fight alongside their friends. 
Aris. All right. We're doing this. We're going to break into the student council and take the mirror. You got a plan, right, Hair? Naturally. But in order to put that plan into action, we have some preparations to make. Like wiretaps, EMPs, and... As Aris so eloquently put it, a little help from our friends. By that you mean... Ah! But, um... We're not exactly in the best terms at the moment, so I think you'll have to do the talking, Sensei. What do you have in mind? Yep. To be frank, this plan is dead on arrival unless we can enlist their help. I see. As he said, you really have a hard time pulling a plan off like plan like this off without our help. Very well, you can count us in. Wait, really? But hasn't the engineering club already qualified to be renewed? We did. Then why would you team up with us to take on the maid club? Oh, it's actually pretty simple. Because that sounds fun. Plus, it's a chance to hang out with the, hang out with and get to know Sensei. <laughs> that aside, there's also... Hmm? Oh, don't mind me. Look forward to see what you guys do. Uh, okay. Anyway, here's to a fruitful partnership. Oh, boy. Alright, is everyone here? Yes, and we are ready to proceed. Awesome! So, when is, go when is go time for the mission? The mission? Well, actually, it's already begun. I do have one more thing. I'm curious about Yuka. How do you know the game development department and Veritas will attack the student council? When it comes to information, wa information wa warfare, I didn't think that there was anyone in the Millennium who could surpass Veritas. You're right about that. However, that's precisely how we came to know their plot. What? There was one person who could have, who could have tipped us off to such a thing. The president of Veritas herself and Mari. Oh! Why would you do that? You were sold us out! What a rat! Yeah! I'm down! Resurrection spell. Please! Ridiculous. Their plan for taking the student council was a bum rush? So this must be Aris. She's so cute. Can I keep her? I just want to scoop her up and train her to become our sixth mate agent. You may not. She'll be held in the council and counseling room for assaulting the student council. What a mess. I can't believe she tried to get past the elevator's fingerprint recognition system by blasting down the door. The elevator locks. The elevator lo the elevator's lock is beyond repair. It needs to be replaced immediately. Hmm, let's order a replacement, right? Wait a second. That weapon I had must have come from the engineering club. If that's the case, then it wouldn't be wise to go go to them like we usually would. Something this must something about this smells suspicious. Find the strongest security system Kabuto is not designed by the engineering club and get that ASAP. Crap, they're taking ours away! Calm down, Momoi. This is all part of the plan. Stay strong, Aris. We'll save you soon. Well, so far so good. Right, Sensei? Are you all ready? The engineering club's message says good work and the good good says good work. The Trojan horse has passed the gates. Oh. Phew, that's a relief. If this hadn't worked out, Aris would have been would have gotten locked up for nothing. It's time for the next phase. Should we start get started? I'm so nervous. I haven't felt like this since we've made it, uh, the Ancient History Research Society building. What's the status of, of Hibiki and Utaha? We're all set to meet our guests. Good. Is it really, though? What about Maki and Katori? Standing by. Don't worry, we can do this for sure. My calculations say we've got a whole 2% to pull this off. But that means there's a 98% chance of failure. I'm totally kidding. It's actually in the other the way around. Well, if Katori and Maki are, re are ready, then phase two is a go. Sound us off, Sensei. Let's bust it up. All right. Here we go. Uh, 
They're here. Camera visual on target confirmed. Target is emerging at point A1 of entrance number one. Target is approaching point A2. Which means they may that means they'll escape, correct? Alright then, I'm on it. Huh? Is this really something you need to handle yourself? Well, of course. After all, a welcoming guest with smiles made his most basic duty. Oh boy. Two hours ago. First, let them let me detail our target. The, count, the student council council's contraband storage. The current location of the mirror. Seminar. Not only student council, men student council are a naturally suspicious bunch, and the topmost floor of the Millennium's tower is dedicated to their exclusive use. The contraband storage is on the west side of that topmost floor. We to our location in the storage room, there were, are about 400 cameras and a little more than 50 security robots. Some of, said ro some of, some of said robots were confiscated from shady organizations. <clears throat> 442 surveillance cameras and 52 robots of three kinds, to be precise. It was the engineering club that helped implant, implement their security system, you see. Whoa. The biggest issue is that you have to take on an elevator to get to the contraband storage. And this elevator can only be accessed by personnel with fingerprint authorization. Even if you were to bypass the elevator, you're bound to run into members of the student council and armed security guards. And most importantly, these are these areas are exclusive to student council members are all section sectionable. What does that mean? Let's say that smoke is detected in one of the rooms. That triggers a shutter that sections off the room from the or from the rest. And once a shutter drops, it can only be disabled by a student council member's fingerprint. What happens if an unauthorized fingerprint is input? A titanium enforced its shutter as also drops. Disabling both then requires a valid simultaneous student council fingerprint and retina scan. Ugh. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around all this. Let me get this straight. The only way to get moved between floors is by elevator. The area upstairs is equipped with fingerprint based security devices, which, when triggered, activate heavy shutters that section off the area. Furthermore, failing to get through the security triggers an even more powerful shutter. Don't forget about the armed forces, armed guards, and security cameras. Surveillance cameras can be hacked. However, these security shutters are impossible to tamper with, even for Veritas. Their only con connection is to be is to an isolated internal network. We've also just learned that trying to brute force that elevator will seal up the entire floor. Ah, this is getting this is nothing but terrible news. What's the good news? Well, there is a weakness. We sh we should know. We put it there. For starters, the system is vulnerable to external power failures. When power is lost, it automatically connects to an external network, opening a short window for the system to be hacked. Using our nano EMP, we can move send Millennium back into the Stone Age for about six seconds. Six seconds. It's enough time. Back in the presence. Um, it should be around here. This isn't right. Doesn't it seem like we're in too deep? Not at all. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Huh? Welcome. I've been waiting for you. As you've no doubt already realized, your plan has failed. I'm CNC's call sign 03. My real name is Confidential, so you can just call me by the beautiful maid of mystery. <gasps> it's, a it's Akane! Isn't she the maid agent who specializes in assassination? Phooey. What's the point of maintaining a secret agent agency if everyone knows about it? Does this mean I should stop playing the mysterious heroine? Oh, right. Didn't Katomi say that the last thing you weighed yourself, what you were... Stop right there! The fact that you don't even know something like that is, is a huge problem. You better keep that info to yourself, Bimoy. You too, Midori. <laughs> hmm? You don't realize it yet, but you, you're you the ones who have failed. I beg your pardon? Hiya, Akana Akane! We got lost on our way to the dorms. Can you believe it? Who are you? You really want to know? Then allow us to introduce, allow us to introduce ourselves. I ask and you shall receive the walking encyclopedia of the engineering club. Toyomi Katori. Why do art and science have to be at odds? Meet Veritas' res resident digital artist, Maki. But you're not with the game development department. What is... Yuka, what is the meaning of this? I don't know. The surveillance cameras definitely show Momo and Midoriya approaching in point A2, but I can't see you anywhere. What? Then, can it be? 
Reset camera settings. Block cloud access and play only the cloud closed circuit feed. Refreshing feed. Mission confirmed. It's Akane. She's locked in the co in, in the confrontation with Katori and Maki. That means the feed we've been watching up to now was. I wonder if they figured out that the circuit footage is pre-recorded. Do you think it would have been better for us to play pre-recorded footage of an empty hallway while we grab the mirror? People are coming and going through, the all, through all the time. They wouldn't take the bait unless we did it just did it just right. Splitting up the maids and trapping them into the place is our best chance. Oh, it's the elevator. Let's go for the real this time. Wait a second. Sensei, it's pretty dark. So grab a hold of our hands. Okay then. Ready. Here we go. Uh oh. Intruder detected. Commencing emergency shutdown for designated seminar floor sector. Hey now, the shutters are dropping. Wait, you don't think? Oh dear. Looks like we got locked in. So yeah, looks like we got locked in together. No matter. Unlike you all, I can easily escape from here. All I have to do is put my finger here, and I'll be free for while you're trapped here. Invalid fingerprint. Huh? Secondary shutters activated. No wait. <laughs> Akana has been trapped! Send a student council member. No one's nearby. She can open the door. What are they thinking? The real Momoa and Midori should also be trapped somewhere. Wait a second. It can't be. We just received word from Noah. She's also trapped and the door won't open. The second shutter also dropped on her. No one needs help. What the? But how? This is brand new equipment just installed today. Oh no. This is why RS broke those doors. This was the plan all along. Sensei, Momoi! We received a communication from Hare. The plan to trap Akane had worked. The fingerprint recognition device is working just as it should be. All the student council members have been isolated. Now we're the only ones who can move freely through the student council floor. The goodness engineering club was able to trick that man manufacturer into being the go between seller. For the new security system. So well made that the council had no idea what it was actually designed by the engineering club. Anyway, let's get going. Saiba Momoi, uh, Saiba Midori, and Sensei. Access granted. Hmm? Didn't something like this happen not long ago? Right, wasn't it the ruins? How nostalgic. It already feels like a lifetime ago. Anyway, it's good to see we're able to walk up Akane, but I wish we could have gotten uh, Asuna too. We still don't know where she is, do we? Hair looked all over Millennium but couldn't find her. Maybe she's outside the academy? Probably. I actually ditched the mission once to get a parfait. She still got back on time and finished the mission, but still. Anyway, everything's going according to plan. Who got was there? Eh? Still the council members? There's still some left? That's it? Let's, we gotta push through. We can't, we can't just run away. I guess we have no choice. That's it. You're actually serious. Let's go! I got a game to make. ゲージはいつも超
私たちの勝利です。はい。That wall looks a lot more formidable than those steel shutters. We're really stuck, huh, aren't we? <laughs> Akane, since we just happen to be confined here with nothing else to do, why not take this time to learn by, to my, listen to my lecture on relati relativity? Come in, command! This is call sign 03 and I'm trapped in the A A11, requesting response from call sign 01. Do you copy? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voicemail box. <laughs> Ah, Asuna, what the hell are you? Where the hell are you? Turn your comm on for crying out loud. <laughs> Connecting. New message. I don't know where Asuna is, but don't worry, Akane. I've got the game development department exactly where I want them. From Callstein 02. Uh oh. Uh oh. The slash shut us down. Now the only way to navigate the student council floor is to buy, with my fingerprint. Just a little bit farther and we sh until we reach the contraband storage in the mirror. Lemoy, hit the deck! Uh huh? Ooh. Ah! What was that? That massive thing barely went over my our heads! Look how big that hole in the wall is! A 13.97 millimeter anti material sniper round. That was close. It would have hit your hit square in the head if you were just a couple of centimeters taller. Thank goodness, was so tiny. Not? What's going on? The sniper is already in position. Seeing as he's sniper, Karen. It's coming again. Midori, get down. Oh boy. They're pinned down. Hmm. Not bad. Those pot, those pips squeak so hard to hit. They're as nimble as they are small. However, the speed of movement are predictable. No one and no obstacles in the line of fire. I mean, I mean clinging to walls and avoiding windows won't save them now. Sorry, girls, but there's no escape now. You sure about that? <laughs> My calculations say otherwise. In fact, your chances of hitting are zero percent. Who's there? Is that Utaha? Oh, it's the thunder gun. Huh? Whoa, what the hell is that? I do believe introductions are in order. Feast your eyes upon the engineering club's latest and greatest invention. The bipedal all-terrain combat ready chair, the Thunder Gun. But why? Who needs a walking chair? And why does that ha why does it have a catapult? Your lack of imagination is depressing. I suppose I should have realized what earlier that you're that a duller the such as yourself wouldn't be able to appreciate Thunder Gun's charms. You and that chair don't make sense, but the rest is coming together. I've been I've been wondering how those kids got from the game development department managed to make it this far on their own. Is it because of that sensei of yours? I bet Hamari's intel was just a ruse as well. In that case, huh? bye chair. Ah, thunder gun. It's pretty tough, isn't it? My shock didn't come out the way the uh, side. Oh well, not much to, not much good'll do if do. Not much good, good it'll do do you stuck on its back like a turtle. I gotta admit, the idea of a walking chair with a gun strapped to it is pretty amusing. However, if you really wanted to stop me, you should have attempted an ambush instead of trying to make me take on the stupid glorified wheelchair. Your calculations were foolish, Utaha. You were never going to beat me somewhere, somewhere as open as this rooftop without cover. Without cover, huh? Yeah, that's true. But you know what else is a rooftop doesn't have? A ceiling. Hmm? What's that sound? Oh boy. A mortar? But from where? Our dear Hibiki is firing up shells from the opposite side of Millennium Tower. Reaching Hibiki means going through your four walls and two ceilings. That is, unless you have a more also have more hide in that, that freely made costume. You can't be serious! <laughs> you doubted them. But my calculations are always right. It's quieted down out there. That must be Uta Hunt Hibiki's doing. You should get moving while you have a current Karen pinned down. Uh oh. <laughs> Was that an earthquake? No, an explosion. You don't think.
Oh boy. Yeah, that lecture's not over yet. I thought we were toast. Where the heck does she go? Where does she keep all those bombs anyway? Normally I want to condone destruction of school, school property. My apologies for destroying the shutters, Yuka. What's the game development department's loca current location? Karen had them suppressed until a moment ago, but they've slipped out of our, our, our vision since. However, it's not hard to guess where they're headed. It must be the contraband storage where the mirror is being kept. Understood. I'll take the elevator and intercept. Huh? Y Yuka? They cut the power? They'd really go to such lengths? That blackout just now. Do you think it means Utaha and Hibiki succeeded? Probably? It's so dark though. Watch your step, Sensei. Just to here should be... Student Council Contraband Storage. Ha, <laughs> we did it! Wow, you finally made it. Hmm? Huh? What kept you? Howdy, Game Development Department. And, uh... What was your name again? Zenzi? Oh, right, it's Sensei. Not close. Close enough. I've been waiting here the whole time. Asuna? How'd you know we'd be here? I don't know. Call it a hunch. I had a feeling that if I waited here, I'd meet up with Sensei sooner or later. And you guys too. Call it a woman's intuition. Jeez, you didn't even try to figure it out with, with reasoning. Anyway, shall we begin? Huh? Begin what? Our fight, of course. Silly. There's nothing better than a good fight. All oh, right. We should make a formal introductions first. CNT is call sign zero one. Asuna reporting for duty. When you're not, here I come. Oh crap! Oh boy, not looking good. Activate all the confiscated robots. I had originally wanted to re repurpose them into cleaning machines, but right now we've got more pressing messes to deal with. I hear my transfer all their command to Akane in the May Club. Understood. I'll use these robots to sweep up the game development department. <clears throat> yeah! Dang, she's so strong. So this is what CNC agents are capable of. <laughs> hmm. They aren't that strong on their own, but I have to give them some credit. It's their teamwork. They move in sync like one person with two bodies. Even most veterans can't, aren't capable of that. So this is the advantage of being twins, is it? How marvelous. Never expected we run to Asuna here. Says I can't keep going. Let's run for now. I guess we don't have a choice. Trying to retreat? I don't think so. <laughs> Those shells are huge. Do you think? Karen? No way. Did she beat Utaha? Why am, I on, why am I on my back? Whose butt is right over my head? That would be mine. For getting hit as hard as you did, you woke up much faster than expected. Sorry, but you never stood a chance. I see. You hit me through the gun smoke, and now you're staying close to me on purpose. That's right. The mortar girl will think twice before launching another shell. She seems rather fond of you. <laughs> my calculations definitely didn't account for this. How did you manage to hit me through all that smoke? CNC snipers don't rely on sight alone. Anyway, stay close to me. I don't think my heart would, or your body can take any more of this. Can you do me a favor? I really feel like I'd just rather get down, get hit with a mortar shell, so please get your butt out of my face. Then just don't look at it. Hmm. Update from here. Karen is back up. Karen, Karen is back up. But Uta has been captured. We can see that. Maki has an update too. Akane has blasted the shutters and escaped. Also, a group of giant robots is headed this way. <gasps> I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling that we're winning. And not only that, something tells me your girl, you girls are in big trouble. Eh. Did we fail? No. Not yet. 15 minutes earlier. Yeah. Every time I get to this point, every time I get to this point, the run through the plane always falls apart. Getting everyone's attention is easy enough. Trap Akane and Asuna, isolate Karen, take on the student council security robots. After all that is the, after all that is the easy part, getting to the storage room. But if any part any part of that falls through, 
then it's game over. No way Melinda can go head to head with the, with the opponent as prepared as the Maid Club. Even using Hamari's name to, to sow confusion can only get us so far. It'll buy us some time, but it'll, we'll probably still end up being co getting cornered. So by, min by minute 2, we trap Akane and Asuna. By minute 5, Karen is isolated. At minute 11, we defeat the Automata. Secure the mirror at minute 13. By minute 20, we'll all be arrested. But what if it wasn't all of us? What do you mean? To win, some of us have to lose. And then... Midori, what are you saying? I'm talking about turning the bug of the plant of, of, the, of the, the bug of the plant failing to a feature Oh Oh a blackout so that means BMP went off and Harold hacked the system settings which means the doors in the student council building build buildings should be open as well as the shutters All right jailbreak time and the next quest marker is at the student council contraband storage. Whoa. No matter how vigilant they are, there's no way they'll be thinking about ours when things are happening. And if we get caught, soon they're only, only put us on probation, we could still use a Jeep Bible to secretly create Tail Saga 2 in the club room. I can't hear when you're whispering, but it doesn't really matter. You don't seem as desperate as you were before. Not giving up just yet? It'd be for the best if you gave up now. Ugh, Siuka. I have to congratulate you for fooling, fooling us this far, thus far. But you've gone too far this time. I can hardly believe the sheer audacity of you to attack the student council with all the help of terrorists. And to think I gave you a grace period to try and save your club. I guess I've been too soft. Don't even imagine trying to escape punishment. You'd be better be, pre you'd better be prepared to be confined and suspended for no less than a week. Wait, what? But the Millennium Prize will be over in a week. Lucky for you that your friend Ars is already in custody. I feel bad about locking her up alone, so I'm sure she'll be happy to have some company. Yeah. Sis. I thought we were, we could make it work, but even if we got caught, but... But if we're caught, it's over. Even if we have the Mayor Ars and Yusu can't make the game alone. So we have no choice. We have to get through this no matter what. Oh, you want to go through us? <laughs> Barely made it. Why am I so out of breath? <laughs> uh, could it really be my weight? <laughs> no way. Couldn't be. Huh? It's Akane and the mo combat robots. Huh. <laughs> we reached the end of the line. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Mamoi, Midori. You should know that despite our re reservations, Maki and Katori will still have a chance of being forgiven. But anyone who's come this far is beyond forgiveness. Also, you should be expecting a stern letter to Shale, Sensei. Ugh. Is this really how it ends? Sis? I'm sorry, Sensei. You tried so hard for us, but we ruined it. Our best wasn't enough. Nah, don't give up yet. We still got hope. Thanks, Sensei, but it's already over. The only the strongest forces, C and C and the Student Council, have us in a pincer. How are we supposed to ha have hope in a situation like this? Talking confirmed. MP charge, 100%. Do you hear that? Sis, get on the ground. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Blinding light. Yeah. Mm. Asuna, are you okay? Definitely not. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I'm hit and it hurts like hell. I can't move a single muscle. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, such as Austin, I have the robots are down too. Can't believe this. And all with a single attack? Karen, status update. What was that laser beam? Karen? Karen? She hasn't provided, provided fire support in a while. A light? It's coming from the roof. Ah, my eye! The mortar launched flash bombs too? But of course, my sweet little protege would never risk exploding her dearest Utaha. She's a clever girl. Damn it! I can't see anything, let alone support Akane. How are you going so far out of your way to do why are you going so far out of your way to do this? Why? To protect that club, of course. 
I'm no gossip, but even but I even I have heard the rumors. I don't know much about the engineering club, but the game development department is a pit, pitiful excuse of a club. They're just a bunch of selfish brats. Why would you go so far for them out of all the people? They aren't selfish. Those kids are giving it everything they've got they have against impossible odds, all for the sake of each other. They don't even need a club to make games together. You're not wrong. But you see, why you while just working as friends is great. Having a place to be and people to be there with is a special thing. That's what they're fighting for. The place where they all belong together. But still! Uh, again? <laughs> that wasn't in my calculations, but it sure was funny. Momoi Midori! Now! Aris? What are you doing here? I did a lot of thinking on my way to the contraband storage room. Final, Fan Final Fantasia, Dragon Crest, <laughs> Tales of Destiny, <laughs> Chrono Digger, The Fable of Heroes, Pyre Emblem. It's funny. It's funny how all the references to the actual, actual media: Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Tales of Destiny, Chrono Trigger, Legend of Heroes, Fire Emblem. Obviously, Tales of Soccer Chronicles is not really referencing anything because that's an original, but still. All the references that they, they try to do are pretty funny. No matter which game you look at, the heroes never ever leave their friends behind. So I will not either. We will get through these trials together. Aris. If we'd gotten got caught, it'd all be over anyway. Alright, game development department, move out! Right. Ah, uh, we can't let them escape. <laughs> it hurts so bad, but having so much fun. This is the best. Are you sure you're in pain? More importantly, Karen stopped shooting. Do you think something happened? I'm like Midori getting away. They're not going anywhere. Awesome, I'll step back. Now engaging the enemy. You can't beat me. I have the power of Aris on my side. One step forward. <laughs> Did we make it? Sensei? Midori? Aris? Is everyone okay? My HP is not critical. I'm fine. So is Sensei. Thank goodness. So this is the contraband storage room. It's a mess. Broken glass all over. Drawers upended. There was probably an explosion from the battle that did this. Karen's doing it perhaps? Anyway, you could have probably thought Aris would take the mirror and run to the game development department. <laughs> she probably has no idea we'd come here ourselves. 
We just need the mirror and Veritas can handle the rest. Here it is. Key item obtained. <laughs> this is so exciting. Let's go back. Hmm? Everyone, please mute yourselves. Huh? Someone's coming. Based on the footsteps, they're not there. They are alone. That's only one person. We can ignore them or break through quickly. What should we do if you can and May, May Club comes back? Pause. I've got a message from here. Run or hide. Just don't. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's weird for her to be freaking out. Maybe there's a rat in the Veritas club room or something? Identifying an approaching target. Searching Millennium student list. Target confirmed. Height 4 feet, 9 inches. Duelist and G's. Dragon pattern baseball jacket over a maid uniform. What? <laughs> no way. Hide! Sensor your head is hidden, but your butt is poking out. Hurry, we've got to move. Uh oh. Hmm, this place is a pit. Nehru? Why? Why in the world is she doing here? Huh? That whispering, that whispering I'm hearing. <gasps> this girl, she's different from the rest. I'm feeling no emotion. Is this fear? Our probability of victory in a ballot under current conditions is unequivocally 0%. Let's see. Under the desk, maybe? This is killing me! They're so dead. Sensei, what should we do? All she has to do is look down and... Um, excuse me. Huh? Nero, it's an emergency! <gasps> Yuzu? And you are? My name's Yuzu and I'm with the se and I'm with Seminar. The robots are out of control! It's a disaster! Akan Akane are, and, and Karen are trying, but it's just... Huh? We've had those bots for a while, yeah? Shouldn't they be set up already? I'm not sure, but they needed help and I heard you were here and I... <sighs> I guess I gotta do everything around here. I'll stay and clean up. I don't have any ammo or experience, and so I'm scared of fighting. Not that it's really my, any of my business. But you should remember the most important thing in a fight isn't weapons or experience. Pardon? It's guts, kid. And you already got that in spades, I reckon. Not just anyone can go waltz up and ask me a favor in a situation like this. <laughs> huh? I, uh... Thank you. See you around, kid. <laughs> that was dead for sure. Yuzu! That was amazing, Yuzu. Why does why does she say Yuzu Chan? That makes no sense. That was amazing, Yuzu. You saved us. I'm glad I made it in time. Anyway, that being that thing in Ars's hand must be. Correct. I present the object of our quest, which will abate the mankind's destruction. I think that's, I think that's over exaggerating a little bit. The legendary mirror. <gasps> we'll have to save it. We'll save the party for later. If Nero comes back, we're all dead meat. There are a lot of robots ahead. Be careful. Right. Our mission isn't over yet. To reach our true goal, the G bubble, we have to get the mirror to the Veritas club room. Time to pull out. I will guard the rear. Your aura, Sensei. Get the fuck out of here. Right. We'll make it back no matter what. Equipment set, ready to go. Just fuck shit up. Fuck it up. それが創作の苦しみです。頑張ります。私、もう怒ったんだから。アリス、全力で行きます。
Getting warmed up. So let me get this straight. All this was done by some club I've never heard of, the game development department. And that bunch of shrimps pulled one over all of you, that right? I have no excuse. It was I who accepted the request and made the preparations. My failure was tarnished the main club's reputation. I'm sorry. None of that crap matters at all. I beg your pardon? When I got here, Rio called me. You mean the president of the seminar? I mean the student council? The one and only. She said the request was being withdrawn. Huh? But why? Hmm, all I can think of is that Rio or Himari wanted to test something. They were testing us? Nah. Bet they wanted to know what that RS girl was capable of. Alright then. This has nothing to do with the, with the request, but Akana... I want you to look into this. Sorry? Look into what now? The game development department. Hmm? Why? Oh, for revenge? I'm not usually interested in dirty work like this, but we might as well take care of it. Once the investigation is wrapped up here, I've got a house call in store for those twerps. That sounds perfect. I can imagine that right now they're celebrating how they managed to pull one over the maid club. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we pay them a visit. Uh-oh. I haven't been so sad since Tales of Soccer Chronicles Alpha update. Uh, hey, Momoi. <laughs> it's over. We're finished. Midori, are you okay? Sorry, Aris. I don't really feel like talking right now. Hey, use... Rage. Destruction. Desolation, despair, emptiness, all the world hurdles towards an inevitable, inevitable ruination. Everyone, I don't understand why. Is this... Is this because of the G Bible? Uh oh. But I don't think the G Bible was lying. That's ridiculous! Huh? I wish it had lied. I wouldn't be mad if it had. Yeah, we're totally screwed. The club's is good, gone. Oh boy, what happened? Two hours ago. Hello, hello, game development department gals. Miss Maki here has got a special something for you. Oh, it's finally ready. Ta-da! G Bible .exe, prepare for runtime. It's really here, the G Bible. Sorry for the wait. We took the mirror back to the student council after unlocking the G Bible. Huh? He returned the mirror? Amara already knew everything. She said it's not a big deal and we won't be needing it from now on. Oh yeah, when I was decrypting the Bible, I found a folder called Key. Key? Well, I thought you already unlocked it. Hmm? She means they found it after they unlocked it, sis. Sis, how did you even pass the entrance exams? Hmm, this one's got me stumped. The file doesn't seem to be corrupted, but there's no way, I, way it was coded in a language from our era. Anyway, I was able to open the G Bible like you wanted, but I couldn't get the, that key folder to open. Any idea what it is? Unfortunately, we don't have. We don't know either. Hmm. I wonder. Could the key be? Identity check. Are you AL1S? Yes, I am. Um, you were looking for Aris, right? Was I? Whatever. The G Bible is the is the important thing here. Come by later when you've got some free time. We can analyze the key folder together. All right, I've delivered it to you, so I'll see you later. Good work, Maki. We'll have to schedule an appointment through our, my secretary next time we get together. Of course, because we're going to make it big with TCSC. TSC2. Why can't I ever say that? I'm excited to pop her open. Aris, Yuzu, Midori, everyone gather around. It's time to look at the G-Bible. 
No one knows what's in, what's in here. The famous developer believed to have read the G Bible once said, The true secret of game development is a miracle everyone thought that he knew, but in fact, no one truly understood the meaning of. I want to know what the truth is so we can make the best game ever. It's the only chance of being able to stay here together. If we fail, Yuzu has to go back to the dorm with people she doesn't like, and Aris. I don't even want to think about it, but at least Sensei said Shale will help us if it comes to that. Shale? I like Sensei being with us. But are you saying I cannot be with you anymore? Ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. We're definitely gonna make the best game ever. Aris, soon you'll be asking people why. Have you heard, ever, ever played at TSC2? It's a masterpiece. And so to get there, all right, RS, hit it. Understood. G Bible? Activated. Let's check this thing out. All this hard work. The G Bible. It is on. Welcome to the world of G Bible. It's working. What makes a game the best? There's innumerable answers to such a question. Quality, popularity, vivid storytelling, impact, innovative direction, all are aspects in the best of games. However, they are mere byproducts derived from the greater truth. There is a single secret behind all the best games, and G Bible was made to hold such said secret. Finally! This is so cool. I'll now reveal the one and only secret to making, making games. Oh! Love! Video! Games! Wow, what an inspiring opener. <laughs> you think so? Love video games. Wait. That can't be it, right? Is it broken or something? Hang on. Let's try the settings button. Love video games. If you press this button, you must be thinking that the file is corrupt. That there's more. Or that something else has gone wrong. I don't know why. I don't know why that's cut off right there. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I knew that couldn't. That couldn't be everything. However, that was everything you needed to know. Seriously? Sorry. Just love video games. Jeez, thanks. I know how. I know how to make the great. Make great games now. Fuck. Fuck coding. Just got. Just gotta love video games, and you'll know what to do. <laughs> I wish game development was that easy in real life. This can't be happening. It has to be an error or something. The file isn't corrupt and hasn't been modified. The metadata, the, me the metadata, the file size and data of the most recent copy are an exact match. This is for real then? That was it? Uh, I think we've been had sis. Damn it! Well, we tried. All that effort for that. Back. Um, Amoy, what about the daily quest? You know, always say the dailies are more important than the, than the end game. I just leave me alone, Iris. My HP is at zero. Hmm? Midori? I'm sorry, Iris. This is just how reality is. This is the true ending. Oh boy. Well, what about you, Yuzu? Wait, where'd she go? Oh, the cabinet's shaking again. She must be inside. It's like everyone's spirits have been debuffed. Yeah. <laughs> How else are you supposed to feel? This was it. How could we have known that we uh, all we get was one sticky sentence that everyone already knows? The god, uh, the god of took line and sinker. I wasn't expecting to get here the secret mag and magic can have all our problems go away. But come on, help a girl out here. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Aris. We we just can't do it without the G Bible. We're just hopeless failures now. You're wrong. I will not lie to say that. I had fun every time I played Tales Saga Chronicle. Real, genuine fun. Huh? And I can feel it. I can feel how much Momoi, Midori, and Yuzu put their love into the game. When I play a travel in that world you made, well, my heart pounds in my chest. Traveling in an unknown world with your companions at your side, you taught me what it means to dream. When I realized that our quest was coming to an end, a thought crossed my mind. I wish this dream would never end. That was all I could think. Aris. Oh, Yuzu. When did you get out of the cabinet? Not long ago. Just since you started talking about Tales of Chronicle. So the whole time, then. We should do it. Huh? 
I've always wanted to hear people say the game I made is fun. But the first version of Tales of Sucker Chronicle was got thousands of negative comments and people are brutal. I couldn't take it, so I locked myself away in the game development department. But that's when you guys came along. Was this flashback sequence? Flashbacks, Ash! More flashbacks! Six months ago! Calling this a video game is pretty generous. I'd love to know what goes on in the mind of whoever made this. Ha! Huh, I can answer that. Nothing, obviously. Obs. This is why I normally shouldn't make games. When will they realize they're ruining the medium? Seriously, this isn't even a game. It's just trash dressed up like a game. <laughs> please. I'm sorry. Please stop. I can't do this anymore, so please, please forgive me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who's there? Hey, is this the Millennium Game Depart Development Department? The one that made the Tail Sucker Chronicle Alpha? Seriously? IRL complaints? I'm sorry, alright? I'll never make another game, so please just... What? Why would you do that? You can't just drop a fun game during Alpha. I want to know what happens next. Don't get me all excited for nothing. What? I love Tales Sucker Chronicle. It's true, I played it all night long. Yeah, you were right next to me the whole time, and you don't even like games. Oh, well, the characters are so cute that I... Anyway, excuse us. <laughs> Are you UZ? Are you- are you UZ? Uh, yes I am. I'm a huge fan of your work. Me too, I want to make fun games just like you. <sighs> it's a revelation! That's how we met. Together we finished Tales of Sucker Chronicle and got- had the honor of winning worst game of the year. <clears throat> <laughs> then Aris appeared. When she said my game was fun, it filled my heart with joy. Creating a game while surrounded by wonderful people and getting to hear that others enjoy what we made. Always, it's always been my dream. But I'm also not ready for this dream to end. Yuzu. Hmm. Midori, how much time was left into the Millennium Prize? Sis. Six days, four hours, and 38 minutes. Then there's still time. Game development department, assemble! Let's begin development of Tales of Saga Chronicle 2. Let's do it! I mean, they got, they got major crunch time. They gotta make a whole game from scratch in six days. Momo, are you done yet? Give me a minute. Just need to enter this and I'll be done. And you only have two minutes left. There's no time to spare. 98 seconds to be exact. Oh, 92 now. Okay, okay, I'm done. Let's just do a quick test and... Okay. There are no errors, Momoi. Alright, beginning the upload. 15 seconds to delivery. Are us the time? 19 seconds remaining. Please, please, please. Status sent. Thank you for your submission and participation in the Millennium Prize. We did it! Phew, that was too close. Now we all have to do is wait for the announcement in four days. We made it in time, but we won't know our fate until the results come. In four days, they'll be decided if we had to stay or go. So I have a proposal. Why don't we try our upload an open web version of the Tales of Sucker Chronicle 2 in the meantime, in the time we have left? Huh? Why would we do that? Because who cares what the judges think? Don't you want to know what people, regular old players, have to say about our game? But what if they say is what? What if they say it's horrible? Think about it this way. We did this for us. The Millennium Prize is just a bonus. We did our best, and that's something to be proud of. Well, sure, but... Let's do it. Huh? Art is nothing if people never get to experience it. I want people to experience what we made. Yuzu. It's okay. Even if it's just like the last time and I get an avalanche of nasty comments, I'll know that we did our best, and we did it together. That's what's truly important. I'm alright, honest. Okay, I'm going to upload it now. Wait! Till late. And done! Two or three hours of reviews will be rolling in. I'm going to take a break while you wait. Sure. Aris, why are you sitting in front of the computer? I'm waiting. People are starting to download the game. I want to know what they think. 
A watch pot never boils, RS. The real reveals won't come until later. Well, I'm just gonna wait. Me too. I'm too anxious to sleep anyway. So I'll wait with you. Ah, uh, my heart is pounding. Yeah, I'm more worried than excited, and I'm the one who suggested we do this. Oh, it's our first comment. What, really? Yo, the worst game of the year, frauds are back. I thought they quit after realizing they're talentless hacks, but here they are crapping out sequels. LOL. Uh, it's okay, RS, don't let it get to you. Understood. I'm going to have Maki give me this person's IP address so I can go blast them with the full strength laser bang. Uh, that sounds very dangerous. You can't do that. Midori's right. They clearly didn't even try the game, so just try to ignore it. The first one was a disaster, but it had a few interesting ideas. I hope they've improved the gameplay this time. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. I'm scared. When I finish this game, well, how will my future self judge has hurt me? Will I curse myself for purposely downloading this game, or will I rejoice in my leap of faith? The first one made me want to quit games forever. <laughs> Seriously, crap like this makes me cringe so hard. Why do I always feel like trying this stuff, though? Wow, people are actually excited to play our game. Uh, I feel like they're acting like our game was like some kind of ticking time bomb. They think they're going to hate it, but want to try it anyway. I have a makeup test in two hours, but TSC2 looking kind of... I can't put that emote into words. I'm thinking of skipping today. Skipping to play. Should I? You should always... You should totally do that. Who the fuck needs to do a makeup test? Play TSC2, Av. The tests are temporary. Getting to play TSC2 on the release is, an, is eternal. Waiting to play would be a crime against art. Uh, they should really go take their test. Whoa, we already have over 2,000 downloads. How'd that happen? Oh, someone posted on the social media aggregate site. Uh, I was just hoping people wouldn't, have, wouldn't be that pathetic, but now I'm scared. My heart is beating really fast. I can't tell if I'm I can't tell if I'm scared or excited. Oh. Huh? Did my voice heart just explode? <laughs> what? No, that wasn't me. Then what was it? Did our console finally die? It was getting pretty old. I mean. Sure, but I don't think a console would explode if it got old. No, this is a shit. This shit. Uh, was a it was a thirteen ninety seven millimeter round. It belongs to Karen. Uh oh. Meh. Range attack confirmed. Position eleven o'clock. Distance approximately one kilometer. Was our last game really that bad? Preparing to counter attack. Don't RS. We have Sensei here, and we can fight in here. Or the club room will be destroyed. Momoi. Student council forces are outside. Maybe they're here for revenge. I can't believe I felt a little bit bad for them before. <laughs> Let's go outside and face him head on. Sensei. Right. Yuz and I will take the lead. You know what that means, right, Aris? Yes. I must protect everyone. Alright, let's move out. Fuck the student council.
All right. <sighs> Phew, we just barely escaped. What do we do now? What do we what do we do now though? Well, we already submitted the game to the Millennium Prize. All we have to do is keep running away until they announce the results. I don't think so. Uh-huh. Oh. Nah! Midori! Ah. I figured that did that work. So the one that led these little chicks to attack the contraband storage was you, right? Should I call you Sensei too? I guess Akane's investigation was no joke after all. I mean, where does this come from? You realize you're also pretty little, right? Where did this even come from? Why are you here? For revenge? Huh, I don't be here for something like that. It's that girl. Don't think I forgot about you tricking me. So I... I'm sorry. Mm hmm? Really got me good last time. Huh? Your performance was perfect. The way you pre pretended to tremble really, uh, really had me going there. That was real troubling, though. Uh, anyway, you. Yeah, you with that massive weapon. Yeah, you. What about me? You're not like the others. You shoot straight at- you shot- you shot straight at C and C. I've got something you need to hear. Oh, uh, I recognize the situation. Next is I have never felt this way before. There's a confession. The small- the small maid is confessing to me. The hell are you talking about? And who the hell are you calling small? You wanna die, you? Uh... Oh, we're so dead. I... <sighs> you guys are going to make me lose, lose it. Make cut, let's cut, cut, cut to the chase. I'm not here to get revenge for you guys attacking us. Yeah, I'm a little pissed, but you guys beat us fair and square. So I'm willing to look past it. However, you've caught my attention. What do you mean? There's just something I need to see for myself. So let's fight. If you win, I leave, and that's the end of it. This is way this is way better than doing some investigation or something, don't you think? Okay. You've got some fire in your eyes. I like that. So an arena event then? Understood. What now? Arena? Last time my strategies were limited due to this mirror and limited air area to move in. However, this time I am peacefully charged. That's blinding light. Shit. Yeah. Whoa. That was amazing. The wall was completely obliterated. That was amazing, Horus. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Did I kill her? Horus, you can't say that! Oh, of course. Situations like this call for more grace and nuance. Hath the fair maiden fallen in battle? That's not really what I meant. Not yet. Oh. Nah! Sure, that attack was pretty special, but is that all you've got? Recharging MP! Too slow! Oh no! Oh boy, she got punched to the gut. Sure, your weapon is strong, but the time between trigger pull and impact with the target is too long. And thanks to that gap, your weapon is useless at a certain range. Because you'll be caught in the blast yourself! And I'll tell you how many people in Kavos can beat me at close range. None! Uh-oh. Aris! What a letdown. I can't believe you managed to trounce my maids. Oh. Crap! What'd you do? Did she just swing that railgun like a bat? <laughs> Not bad in a close, cl close up fight. Not bad. Close up. Close up. Not bad, yeah. But I've still got an upper hand at this distance. And if you can fire, you won't be able to aim at me. Then I'll- then I will not aim. Here I go! I told you there's no point- Huh? The hell? You're firing? But at this distance? You weren't even aiming at me! You hit the floor! Are you insane? Don't you know you'll be caught in the blast too? Blinding lights! 
fucking cares? Collateral damage. Aris! <laughs> the smoke! The floor completely collapsed. There you are, Aris. Physical damage is at 40% to, to capacity. We need to be sure he. Get on my back. We run. Hurry, Sensei. President, do you think she's okay? Could she be buried in the rubble? I saw Aras get out and, and she was a mess. Our little Nero might be a pancake by now. What are you calling a little? Whoops. Whoa, that's our president. A little rubble's got her, no, nothing on her. Whose side are you guys on anyway? In any case, Aras was in no condition to continue fighting. She's likely going to be going to an infirmary. Should we pursue? Hmm, Millennium only has a few infirmaries, so finding her shouldn't take too long. Narrow? Ugh. It's fine. There's no need to pursue. Let's pull out. I feel a lot better after, we, after destroying some stuff anyway. <laughs> well, mission accomplished, I guess. <laughs> I get now why Ryu is so interested in the game development department. And that person with them. You're worried about Sensei, aren't you? Wait, it's not like that. I understand. Though, I am a little worried. Given that their group was full of nothing but little girls, I wonder if Sensei... Good for you, Nero. Oh, God. The, mis the misunderstanding. Uh -huh. Shut up! One more word out of you and these barrels will be pointed right at your face. <laughs> the misunderstanding. Sensei. In the game development department. Hmm. They better watch themselves. I'll make them pay for calling me little. I didn't call you little! Well, technically Aris did, but... Anyway, I'm starving. Let's go get some ramen. Alright. Sounds good. Oh, so you really did hit your growth spurt after all. I said shut up! <laughs> I think... I think the... the, 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 the they misunderstand me a little bit. Just a little bit. Aris, Aris, check it out! Ta-da, it's a maid costume! <laughs> this is so fun. What's wrong with you? Can't you tell Aris is scared out of her mind? You okay, Aris? Um, please keep anything, wearing, keep anything wearing a maid outfit away from me from now on, please. She seems to be feeling better. I went to the student council to discuss the building we destroyed. Thankfully, they deemed it a product of a sanctioned club accident. Wow, really? I thought we'd get expelled or something. I think CNC smoothed it over for us. And Nero said to me, See you soon. Aris, <laughs> right, get out of the cabinet! What have you been teaching here, Yuzu? Well, that's good news and all, but... Right. The Millennium Prize has begun. You know the drill, right? If we take home the gold, we part like there's no tomorrow. But if we lose... We have to pack our bags, which Mamoy and I can do, but using Aris. Hello and welcome to the Millennium Prize Awards Ceremony. My name is Kator and I'll be your host for today's proceed for the day's proceedings. I hear this year's competition was a bit as more as the most entrance it's ever had. Probably because the student council made it mandatory that each club enter or something. <laughs> Looks like everything worked out for Katori. Well, the engineering club is one of the Millennium, Millennium, Millennium's most valued clubs. But more entrance means more competition, right? Excuse me. That's not good. Mustard's winner was Noah's The Meter, Meter of Memory. Though unusual for poetry, it was praised for surefire cure for insomnia due to its extensive use of long metaphysical terms. This year we have tubes of what looks like toothpaste and it was but it's actually cheese, a large missile equipped umbrella for defense, self-defense, a necktie power bank, optical cam camouflage underwear. Why the fuck would you want that? Optical camouflage underwear. You don't even see it anyway under clothes unless you go naked. A no portable pencil case sized refrigerator. What kind of what kind of refrigerator is a pencil sized? Per perfect for exactly one can. What the fuck is that shit? And finally, a retro-style mobile game that went viral on Kavoto's network, Tail Sucker Chronicle 2. 
out of the hundreds of submissions, only seven will make it to the top. And so we're kicking things off with our seventh place winner. In seventh place, we have the camouflage underwear set designed by Utaha, the engineering club. I'm not sure whether this underwear puts form over function, but they received very high ratings for allowing ex exhibitionists to exercise their, exercise their hobby of peace of mind. I'd like to know who the reviewers are. Anyway, it's only it's only better from here on. <laughs> it's okay. Our game doesn't belong in seventh seventh anyway. Moving on to sixth place, it's fifth place. Okay. Oh, we can see what's in sixth place. In fifth place is. They haven't called her name. Next is fourth place. They should have called her name by now. It's time to crown the top three. Stagging up third is. Can't bear to watch anymore. Please, please. Second place was a real tight race, but in the end it went to. We'll never know, because they don't say it. Please be us, please be us. No way. They didn't call her name. That means. <gasps> Last but certainly not least, we have our winner. Our contestants will be taking home the Millennium Prize. I can't take this. And our first prize winner will be... I think I'm going to lose my mind. Announce after this commercial break. <laughs> Aris. Laser's fully charged. Please don't shoot at the little awards ceremony. Ah, this is anticipation anticipation's too much. And we're back, folks. The first prize goes to the New Material Development Club. Yeah, why'd you shoot the TV? What does it matter? We're going to lose everything. Ah, it's all over. <sighs> so this is it. It's all right, Yuzu. We can still... I've got it. We don't need to get all depressed. The reviews we got we got weren't too bad. We got we we've come a long a long we come a long way from being the legendary losers of the worst game of the year award. We're just going to keep getting better. And if we get kicked out, we can gather more club members and make something even better. When we reopen, we'll be ha have an even bigger and better club room. But what about using Aris? It's okay, Midori. I'm going back to the dorms. Huh? I don't think anyone will be called us failures anymore, and even if they do, it doesn't bother me anymore. Because I have you guys. And Sensei. I want to thank you, Sensei. Ever since he came to this club room, we've all grown and changed. But for Aris... Come to share with me! Aris... I'm sorry. It's okay. I know I can trust Sensei. However, that means I can't stay with you guys anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Aris. I'm going to visit you at Shell every day. Seriously, every day. We'll always be linked by the game we made together. No! You can't take her, Sensei. She can stay in my room. We'll share the bed. I'll split my meals with her. I can share too. Guys, please don't pressure Sensei. If anyone here were to find out. Moi, Aris, Midora, Yuzu. Ah, Yuka's already here. You couldn't wait even a minute to evict us? That's just too cruel. How can the student council be so hard to let. Congratulations! What? What are you talking about? What the heck? Hmm? What's with you guys? Didn't you see the results? Yeah. We didn't even make it to the seventh place. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? Turn on the TV. It has some, um, bullet holes in it. Sheesh. Fine. Watch it from my phone. Millennium Prize's purpose was has been always been to reward students for creating something practical. However, practicality of fail is to cover over the emotions which can be brought on by an interactive experience. And so, for the first time in the history of the prize, we are awarding a unique top honor. Our special honors go to the Skane Development Department's Tales Saga Chronicle 2. Seriously? What's happening? We were charmed by a concept that transcended retro, a story now hung up on formalities in a strange world which complemented both. 
navigating a strange land, strange and unknown world, meeting new people, and overcoming a demon king. We believe it is a piece of work that truly captures the essence of the RPG genre. It's a game that reminds us why we came to love video games in the first place. It is for these reasons we saw fit to reward the game with the Millennium Prize's special honors. Wow. Congrats again! I gave it a try too. It wasn't the most exciting game I've ever played, but it was a fresh experience. I really liked it. Momo, Mido, Mido, I tried playing TSC too. It was so much fun. It's gone totally viral online. Verit Veritas says it's being searched more than any more than any celebrity in Kivotos. I can't believe it. I see. Tell Sucker Chronicle 2 was downloaded 7,705 times with 1,372 comments in just the three first hours of being uploaded. And the 20 seconds, 26 seconds following its announcement at the Millennium Prize it has amassed over 10,000 downloads. <gasps> of the 500 new comments, there are 242 negative comments, not 192 expressing excitement, and the remaining 66 are uncertain. Doesn't that mean they don't like it? Not exactly. Huh? What do you mean, Yuzu? Take a look at the mo oh, select comment thread. Chicken. That's a great fucking username. <laughs> I thought long and hard about it, but I think in the end, I'm glad I, I was able to play this game. Honestly, I used to be biased against Millennium. But after playing Tales of Sucker Chronicle 2, I can't hide behind the idea that the Millennium students are all cold and calculating anymore. Are all cold and calculating anymore. <sighs> Wait, do we get to keep our club room? Well, as before, the confisca confiscate confiscation is postponed. Since the award you won wasn't official, the student council decided to give you another year to, to reevaluate if you keep, to keep your club room. And you also... Mm -hmm. Huh? I, uh... I'm sorry I called your console's junk. Playing your game, I remember how much I loved playing games as a kid. It was like I was experiencing it all again for the first time. Congratulations. Come to the student council room to apply for a club room extension or cl club room extension or funding. I'll be seeing you. That means <gasps> we we did it. Ah, thank goodness we really did it. Hmm? Uh, we did it. RS, we get a budget and we get to keep our club room. So does that mean you get to stay together? Of course. Let's keep making games together. I am so happy. Ars, we really did it. The dream lives on. It never dies. A perfect result. Data recovery at 98%. Booting system. System ready. Setting program. Division. AL1S. Or rather. Aris. My. Precious. Oh god. Bunch of words. Something precious something. That doesn't sound good. Retromania is complete! Alright, and we are done with Retromania. And we're done with the video game development squad for a while, because uh, there's no chapter 2. So yeah! yeah that, was, that was fun. That was interesting. That was nice to read. So, uh, we got... Next story, the Eden Treaty. So, uh, I believe this one's still ongoing. I believe, um, there's, yeah, there's only nine episodes right now. And, uh, I think they're coming out with more, uh, in the next couple of weeks. So, I'm gonna try to get this out, get this one out before that, uh, gets extended. So, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in, uh, the next part, whenever that's gonna be. Hopefully it won't be as hoping it won't be three or four weeks later. So yeah. I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>